Hola YouTube, you guys could see me, I'm giving you some smokiness. This eye and this makeup was inspired by Renny. Renny Vasquez, most of you guys know him. He's known for his beautiful smoky eyes, so I just decided to give it a try. Starting with the usual, my primer natural radiance, so my makeup stays on. Now moving on with Quine Natural by MAC Paint Pot, so just when I put any eyeshadow, it blends on easily. Feline by MAC Eyeliner, it don't have to be perfect, just apply it on the eye. Just blend it with an eyeshadow brush. Blend, blend, blend. Now grabbing Uninterrupted by MAC Eyeshadow, putting it on top of the black eyeliner just so there's no harsh lines. It looks a little messy, but it's gonna look pretty. Moving on with Inglot 294 Body Paint Powder. This powder is so black, it's one of my favorite black eyeshadows. Um, with Makeup Forever eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go on top and blend everything. This look is all about blending and adding and taking away. So take your time, guys. Eyebrows, my sleek little palette. I've been using this literally in every tutorial and I love it. I really like it. My brow set in Red Sheds Nut just to make my eyebrows a little lighter because I'm going with a heavy eye. Clean up on aisle 7 with my MAC Pro Concealer Palette. I mix all the colors and just blend, blend, blend. This look, like I said, guys, is all about blending. So take your time, okay? Now it's time to correct. Correcting my skin with the usual, my MAC corrector. Now some foundation time. I'm using my Black Opal Stick Foundations. I don't know what colors I'm using, guys. I'm mixing all the colors to get my skin tone. So, don't get mad at me, I don't know the name of the foundations. And I'm going with the dark tones just to contour, nose, cheeks, forehead, everything to look a little smaller and also using my black opal palette for everything. Now time for a little bit of highlight. You see my black opal palette, just the two lighter shades, and I'm just adding to the face and the areas where I want to be highlighted at. Now it's time to blend and put everything together. Remember guys, this look didn't took 10 minutes. It took me like an hour to do this. So take your time, okay? You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. But grabbing my Bright Forecast by MAC highlighter pen because I'm gonna highlight more. You're gonna have have enough highlight in your face. Just make sure to blend everything together and you'll be fine. Now grabbing my Crack Powder, my Lada Mercier. This is my holy grail every time. We're gonna cook today. We're cooking and letting it set. Using a little bit of powder and just to set my concealer on my eyebrow. Now clean it off, clean up, clean up, clean up. I'm gonna let the cheeks cook a little though. Now we're gonna add more definition to the nose with uninterrupted eyeshadow. Just get in there, get that nose snatch. So focused by MAC highlighter, just more highlight underneath the eyes. Some bronzer to warm me up so I don't look flat. Bronzer, yes, yes. Now it's time to set the cake face. Sheer Loose Powder by MAC is already discontinued, but it's my favorite powders. Definitive by MAC Contour Powder. This one just to make me look like I haven't eaten in a week. That's all, that's all. Now blend everything together so there's no harsh lines. Moving on with some eyeliner, Feline by MAC, my favorite eye curl ever, because it's so easy to smudge. Get in there and blend everything away. Adding some eyeshadow on top of the black eyeliner just to set it so it doesn't move. And make sure it's perfect. Now adding some color, Kinda Love Blush by MAC. I love this blush. Spray a little because my face was a little dry. Moving on with some lipstick, this one is Josh by MAC. Some liner, make sure you line your lips when you do a nude, please, so we don't look ashy. Please just line those lips. I'm not gonna get tired of telling you guys that, for real. <laughs> Highlight time! My Becca in Topaz. Look at that button nose. Diamond. Moving on with some flutter lashes in Natalie. Dramatic ass lashes for a dramatic smoky eye. Now some mascara time. You know, you guys know this is my favorite part. Studio Scope by MAC, my favorite mascara ever. Get in there. Get in there. And more mascara. And to finish this look, adding some underage MAC lip gloss just in the middle of the lips. And we're finished. 
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Don't you guys love like a nude lip? Like a nude, nude lip? I love doing nude, nude lips when I have a smoky, smoky out eye or anything bold on my eyes. That's when I do a nude like this, but this is one of my favorite nudes ever. Cork lip liner is a black girl's best friend. Every black girl in the world should have cork or anything that looks like cork or chestnut because we don't want to look ashy on the lips. Please make sure you line those lips. Please make sure you do that. Anyway, so this is the finished look. This look was inspired by Renny Vasquez. I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. He's one of my favorite makeup artists. Who's your favorite makeup artist? Comment below. I would love to check out new people on Instagram to get inspired. You know, looking at new people's makeup and just get inspired because sometimes we tend to get a little bored and like, oh, what should I do next? So looking at people's pages, I always get inspired. So comment below and tell me because I want to go creep on them. Yeah, I'm a creeper. I do it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this smoky out. Smoky out, smoky out, smoky out. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my crazy videos. And thumbs up if you guys like smoky eye or anything to do with makeup. See you guys in my next video. Ciao. Show me you, and he loves you. Yeah! I just feel like... Let me... Tú estás loca. I'm sorry. Let me...